Hey team, Paul Week here and welcome to another episode of the West Ham Career Mode. Today we are ending off the season and hopefully we can do well in the last two games we have today against Liverpool and Tottenham. But at the end of the episode I will announce a huge announcement so hopefully you guys will like it and uh, support me in this of course. So let's jump into the first game against Liverpool. West Ham against Liverpool here, last home game of the season here at Boiling Ground. Hopefully we can get 3 points here against Liverpool. Our team, a strong strong team here. We got Tom coming in, doing a job. Hopefully he will do very well here. Ali, Basur in the deep midfield here. Berardi and Talamans, Keita and Mbolo up front. Hopefully those four can do a good job against the Liverpool defence here. This is the Liverpool team though, they got our old man Reed and Antonio in the team, otherwise it looks like a pretty normal Liverpool side. So let's go into the game and win this. Bellerin sees the run there from Mbolo, Mbolo tries to dribble, sees the run from Ali, Ali shoots, oh good save there by, by Mignolet, unlucky. Keita again, come on. Gets tackled kind of, gets it to Mbolo, Mbolo gets it, oh unlucky, what the hell are you doing? Oh Basswood, what the hell are you doing? Crown the keeper again, Keita now with the cross in, that's a good cross in. Oh, save, oh and he kind of kicks it almost in his own net, holy that is close, look at that in a close angle, there gets it and then Kick ah, uh, of course. Telemans gets it in. Oh, there it is, 1-0. Mignolet tries to go out, but Tom heads it in, and it's 1-0. And it's not undeserved, that's for sure. Second corner we get there, Telemans gets it, gets it in, and perfect header there. It's impossible to see from that angle. Goes up in front, and Reed is very close to head that away. Holy... That is close. 1 0 to West Ham, and it's very much deserved there. Keita, oh my god, pass it off. Basur shoots. Can't get a shot off. Ah! Oh. And Basur almost gets the, the block shot there. Oh. Perfect there for. Ah, oh, no one. Oh! <gasps> Holy crap, I just changed the player and he got the shot off there. I'm, bo I'm not sure who shot there, maybe it was Mbolo, but yeah, it was Mbolo. Oh, good save though, very good save. Bellerin is on a run, Telemans is on a run, perfect there by Telemans. Oh, Mbolo, 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 holy crap, that is one wonderful goal. Holy crap, gets the perfect pass there. From Telemans, we have to look at that replay. That is perfect. Look at that run. Little touch gets it, is in front of the player, and just a little touch that gets it past Mignolet. Perfect. Holy crap, that will probably be a free kick there. As you can see, he almost kicks down and runs down Mignolet straight after. But it's 2 0. It is accepted in this game, and it's 2 0. Very, very nice there, Mbolo. Oh, perfect there. A lot of space for Telemans. And he just waits for another player to get there. And it is 3 0 here. Berardi gets the ball there. Very nice by Telemans. Just waits for the perfect run there by Berardi. He just two touches and shoots behind me in the lane. And it's 3 0. Get in. Liverpool are not coming back from this, that is 100% sure. Oh, gets that away, good. Henderson tries to get that in, and holy crap, what is that for a header? Seriously, that is annoying. Was hoping to get the, the clean sheet, but no. What the hell is that for a header town? Okay, you scored one, but that is 100% your fault when it comes to the oh, goal there. Ugh, oh, annoying. Perfect there. Dele Ali, make it four. Oh, so close to make it 4-1 here. 
and it is overtime and we are just going to uh, be uh, annoying of course no not really here we are last corner gets it in almost gets it that's it that's the final whistle 3-1 here against Liverpool a solid victory and the hope for the third place is still on we still have to see how uh, Tottenham is doing right now so let's jump into the league table and see how the standing is before the last game of the season and this is the table as you can see we are not going to take that third place Tottenham I think they won their game so they are five point clear City is 10 points clear of us again so we are pretty safe when it comes to the fourth place the sixth place though is pretty tight here between Liverpool and Everton so we'll have to see who wins there but the league champions are Arsenal and Chelsea are the second place team. Let's see who might get relegated. It Right now it looks like Middlesbrough is the one that is surviving but if Derby wins and um, yeah, no, actually, Derby is going down because of goal difference. Of course, they're not scoring so many goals in their last game. But yeah, I think Derby is going down. Middlesbrough has 32 points. So the three teams that are going down is Burnley, Bournemouth and Derby is going down. Sadly, I'm not thinking that they are going to win like 6-0 or whatever they need. So let's jump into the last game of the season against the third place spot Tottenham Hotspur there also is a London Derby there and I really really want to win this even though it doesn't really matter if we win or lose but for pride I want to win this Tottenham against West Ham here at White Hart Lane the last game of the season it is all about pride but I want to win this come on you guys <clears throat> Tottenham's team, I'm not sure who that Velkovic guy is, but otherwise, uh, Anuman, I'm not sure who that is either, but it looks, uh, yeah, looks like a Tottenham team, not too many transfers, two players that I didn't know of, but otherwise, Harry Kane is good, Lloris is very good, our team, Rainwald is back in the team, and I'm taking a chance with Iheanacho, hopefully he will do a good job against Tottenham here really wants him to score in this last game come on let's get three points here good there by Reinwald Iheanacho on a perfect run here come on come on Iheanacho Iheanacho oh great save there by Loris holy crap that should have been 1-0 but Loris is so so good holy crap A lot of space for Basuid here. Basuid gets it to Telemans. Telemans makes it 1-0. Perfect little ball there from Basuid to make it 1-0 here. Telemans gets a perfect touch there. Very nice by uh, Telemans there as well. One touch, two touch and just smash it behind Ooh, Loris. And we are 1-0 up. Perfect play there. We deserved really, really, really to become uh, the leaders of this game. And it is 1-0 here. Oh, Gabriel steals that. Perfect. Oh, he steals on the ball. Still on the ball. Telemans. Oh, Telemans. Oh, Noris is too good of a goalkeeper. He saves everything. God damn it. Oh, Keita steals the ball there, perfect. Keita gets it to Telemans. Telemans does everything himself. Gets it in, get in. Perfect shot there, in off the post and it's 2-0. Telemans second goal of this match. Look at that. Could maybe pass it, but no, he takes it in the top corner instead. Perfect Telemans, freaking perfect. And Ruiz is out there. Oh, no, 
Maurice is up on the corner. Oh, he's feeling it. Tries to love it. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap! What a goal! The goal of the season, that is for sure. Chips from 45 yards out plus. Holy crap! Loris is just running to the goal. He's running and running and just look at that. He throws himself. Oh, it is so close. But it hits the line and it goes in. I'm not sure. I think, is it Lazor that scored that? Holy crap. Look at that goal. That was insane. Lazor with a 3 nil goal here. And what a magical end of the season that is. Holy crap. Holy shit. Holy shit, that is a good save from Dragowski. Perfect, perfect save there by Dragowski. And we are not conceding this match. Perfect save there by Dragowski. And that's it. That's the final whistle. And what a way to end the season on. Perfect, perfect. 3-0. That third goal... Holy crap, holy shit, that was very, very good. We win against Liverpool, we win against Tottenham here. <sighs> A great, great episode here. So, the season is over, and as you can see, we were just two points from getting that third spot. But yeah, nothing we can do about that right now, sadly. But, I think we did very well this season. As you can see, 4th place with West Ham is pretty good. We had a lot of goals, we had a lot of, lot of good games, but didn't quite hold up, sadly. But, this was... But, now I'm going to announce the big thing. This was the last season of the West Ham career mode. I felt at the end that we kind of lost something, I'm not sure what it was, but wasn't too fun to make it and I want to make fun content for you and for me so that's why we are ending it now but we have a new new career mode coming up very very soon and that is on Friday and it's called England's future and the meaning with that we are only buying English players of course and I am going to take over England if I get the England job, of course, and try to win something with them. That will be kind of the, the big things. Buy English and win something with the England, English national team. So, when it comes to what club, I'm not sure actually, but I want to do it with a championship club so we can get up to the premiership and uh, work our way up to a high high table position i i will say top 10 is a goal for us that would be very very good but um yeah tell me in the comments what team do you want me to take over and um, tell me also what you think of this idea because i really like the idea of it so maybe you think it's stupid but yeah just tell me what you think in the comments down below Hopefully you liked the West Ham career mode. I think it was very fun to make, but um, at the end it was kind of mm. So I'm very happy that it's uh, over and I think we left it at a good, good spot. I also think that if you guys want to see more of it, I will maybe stream it or something like that. Just tell me if you want to see a return of the West Ham career mode, but it won't happen right now. Hopefully you liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, Hopefully you like the new announcement. I think it's a really, really fun concept. So yeah, that will be all for me for today. As always, I'm Povig and I'm